My name is Jebediah Climbing Stuff Jr. To the Church of Dynamology, you're the love of my life. To Moa, you're my big man. The Static Climbers, they've trapped me down here. And it's only a matter of time before they kill me. So this message goes out specifically to one person, Magnus Mippo. Only you can save me. If you're watching this video, you're probably already dead. But you can save the Church of Dynawology in the Dinoist race. Attached to this video, I've sent a series of dinos for you to complete. Will you send the dinos, Magnus, and save the Dinoist race? So if I do this, do I save the Church of Dinoology? We all know Magnus Mippo loves a challenge. He pretty much does them all the time. If you challenge Magnus to something, he can't say no, he's gotta do it. So I sent Magnus five dinos set by me on the kilter board to see if he could complete them. But the thing is, a challenge isn't really a challenge if there's no risk and reward. There's gotta be you know, something you lose if you fail the challenge. So what does Magnus lose if he fails the challenge? If he doesn't send all five dinos, I die. And realistically, I wasn't really too worried about Magnus not sending the dinos. Anything I set, I was pretty confident he'd be able to do. What I was worried about was that some of them might be a little too easy. All right, Magnus, the first dino we have for you is our easiest dino, Sturbebe. And I know you're thinking, you're, you're gonna find some weird way to do it. I already know, some, something crazy. No matching. That's how we got you. That's, that's how we, we figured you out. You can't match any of the holds on this one. Baby. All right, so this is the um, first boulder, I guess. Stool baby means big baby. I guess you knew that already. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, okay so far. Not a good start. Saying something is okay so far uh, is a nice way of saying, uh, what the hell am I doing here? Imagine you're giving a zesty blowjob, right? You're pulling out all your best tricks. You got the pepper grinder technique down and you take a minute to ask, how am I doing? <laughs> and they say, okay so far. Thankfully, I knew Magnus wasn't going anywhere because like I said before, he's a sucker for challenges. You could literally be like, hey Magnus, I challenge you to the slumber party challenge, and bam, Magnus is at your birthday party. But now it was time to set something a little bit harder for Magnus, something on the overhang. So we wanna get a dyno on the 45. We wanna get one on the 30, the 45, the 60, and the 15. Problem is on the 45, every dyno is just a throw. There's like no double dyno. So we came up with uh, kind of a cool one here. can't catch it, but <laughs> the problem is you can just, so the dyno is going to have to be really big. This motion, we need like a cool inside catch. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, that'll be cool. But it needs to be higher. This is madness. Yeah, I think we're on to something. So after piecing together this dyno and getting it exactly how I wanted it, it was time to take a quick break. So I decided to have some of Norway's most popular snack, kviklunch. After all these dinos, I really worked up my appetite. I like to have a quick lunch, or as I like to call it, a kviklunch. Uh, we got god flavored, ski flavored, <laughs> flavored, I actually don't know if these 
these are flavors or not. I think they're, uh, I don't know. The only time I've ever had these, I don't remember them saying this stuff on it, but you know, they're a classic, pretty good. Wh which flavor do you prefer, Ryan? Ball, Ake, Skiot, God, or Ski? Like God flavor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Definitely the coolest. All right, let's try it. Let's get some power in our systems. Pure Norwegian gold. Magnus, I hope you're eating along with this. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that, nice and melted. It definitely doesn't remind me of anything in America. <laughs> That's a Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually better than a Kit Kat. Yeah, it's got like Hershey chocolate. The chocolate is so much better. Yeah, it's got like pretty solid chocolate. Who made it first though? Freya or Kit Kat? Or Mars, whoever makes Kit Kats. Probably Freya, the Norwegians have been around for years. Yeah, that's true. Years. <laughs> so, in honor of this quick lunch, it always makes me feel like, like, I thought let's grab lunch, we don't have time, so just a quick one. <laughs> just a quick lunch. But I honorarily named this next dino, quick lunch. So the whole point of me eating the quick lunch in the thing was to, you know, bridge the gap between Norway and the US, have a little camaraderie, make Magnus feel like he's at home. But apparently I insulted the entire country of Norway because the first thing that Magnus sent me before any of the dinos was this. But first I need to show you how to uh, eat a quick lunch because you did it the savage way. So the whole point of a quick lunch is that you can easily break them into different parts like this and then you just eat one piece at a time and fun fact quick lunch was invented in 1937 and kitkat was invented in 1935 so actually two years before quick lunch i would love this to come first but um uh, kitkat is actually the, the inventor of this and i agree it tastes really similar it's basically kitkat but Norwegians are really proud of their quick lunch, so. Can I just defend myself for a minute here? All right, first of all, it was all melted. It was like melted into one big brick. You can't really snap them when they're like that. The whole thing breaks. Second of all, I had chalk all over my hands. I don't want to get chalk on the food I was about to eat. I know Magnus also had chalk on his hands. Ironically, we were using the same chalk. I didn't know that Magdust was edible. All right, that's on me. And third of all, that was a perfect bite. Look at that. It was right down the line, didn't even touch the next wafer. So technically I still ate it the right way. I mean, I'm dying over here, trapped in a bunker 600 feet underground and Magnus worrying about my diet. So I guess this one has kind of an intro to it, which makes you a little bit tired for the last dino. But uh, I only thought you did dinos, not like normal climbing. You know, the climbing that goes into the dino. I actually <laughs> didn't do the, the climb leading into it. <laughs> he 100% he knows that too, you can tell by the smug look on his face. I couldn't do the whole thing, all right? So I edited it to make it look like I climbed into the dyno. Uh, I actually just did the dyno and sent that. Uh, you know, Magnus, he's got a pretty good bullshit detector, I guess. I don't like static climbing, all right? What can I say? Looks like you have to be pretty accurate for the last dyno though. Now at this point, a lot of you are probably asking, why are these dinos so easy? This is Magnus Mippo, set some harder dinos. We'll look at it from my perspective. I don't know how good he is at dinos. Like, yeah, he's a pro climber, but is he a dinoist? Does he worship Tomoa? Does he have a Tomoa body pillow that he sleeps with? These are all questions we need the answers to. So I decided to push Magnus to his limits by setting not only a harder dino, but also a scarier one. So my idea is like, we're here, go up to those and then go up again to the right like just keep going up right like a stairway stairway to heaven stairway to norway try to a few different finishes see how they go keep drilling my knee on the wall it's only really scary because this 
Like, there's no pad over here, so. <laughs> you see me lean to avoid falling off the mat? Oh my god. Alright, well now we know it's relatively safe. Alright, this is Norway to heaven. You thought getting into heaven was going to be that easy? Not in Norway. We made it harder. No way to heaven. I'm shaking right now. The second one's a little scary if you don't have a, the back the whole way over to the side. Don't worry. Magnets, you'll be fine. So not only did this problem have a pretty beefy dyno on it, but it was also pretty dangerous. Like you could actually get seriously hurt on this one. So I want to preface this with saying, if you do plan on trying all these, they're all on the Kilter app. Don't, uh, don't really try this one unless you're really, really confident. I wanna be responsible for people getting hurt because you can easily fall off the mat onto the concrete. And you know, this had me worried because I was like, I don't want Magnus to get hurt trying to do dinos for my video, right? They, you know, everybody on the internet would hate me. But then again, Alex Honnold did it and nobody gave a shit. So, go ahead. Man, this one looks really far. That's a big gap between those holes. And you said no matching, right? Yeah. Yeah? Right. Yes. This guy, he, he doesn't listen. Sorry, am I, am I in the way? That's pretty far. Okay. We'll try it again. The last part looks uh, pretty sketchy too. It looks like I could potentially fall out from like miss the pads. Second try. I think I can still save you, Brandon. At this point, I was glad to see Magnus was really taking the situation seriously, right? My life is on the line and he's got to dino his way out of a sticky situation. But then again, I also noticed how different our camera quality is. Uh, I never really thought my camera quality was that bad until I was editing Magnus's footage that he sent me. And uh, oh my God, for those of you that might not have caught on yet, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I had like 600 subscribers at the beginning of this year, so I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants at this point. But nevertheless, the Static Climbers resolve was breaking. Seeing Magnus Mippo, the biggest rock climbing YouTuber, doing dinos, they had nothing left to fight for. And now it was time for Magnus to move on to the fourth dino, our coordination dino. So what I'm thinking is something like here-ish, and then a big like pull over into the Gaston and then the kitchen with the other Gaston. I think, I think even the mighty Magnus won't be able to do that. Do that. Yeah, so they will like, Gah -gah. it's gonna be pretty, pretty tough. Normally I would just make it start higher, but this has to defeat Magnus, so we can't, we can't have it start too easy. We gotta make it damn near impossible. <laughs> still, still hard. All right. We're not going from this side anymore. We're gonna be coming from this side now. Uh, this whole a little bit better to uh, cross over with. The only problem is I want it to be like a coordination move. I'm pretty sure Magnus can. Yeah, you can definitely hang on that. Probably one arm pull up on it <laughs> just cross over, but we'll give it a try. Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you can't do that? It gets stuck on my lower back. Right. You don't have the shoulder mobility for that? How long was that? That was like 20, 20 seconds. That was like 20 seconds. <laughs> I just hit 
in everything else. <laughs> like. So we spent four entire sessions on the kilter board setting the specific dyno, trying to get it just right. And then on the fourth session, Ryan figured out you can just static it. You think so? I mean, I guess I can't. It's just more that like going to the next one after that. Then you lose the momentum, yeah. Oh yeah. So I guess that counts. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think it that does. was. No, it's just uh, now we know for a fact we're gonna have to change it though. Oh. And as we all know, if you can static a dyno, it's not really a dyno. So we changed the feet a little bit, which made it impossible to static it. Let me tell you a little story, Magnus. When I was a young lad, I met a member of the Yer and Jäger Commando, and he gave me this flag. And he said, if America ever needs aid, call on your Norwegian brothers and sisters. Well, I'm calling on you, Magnus. Help us send this dino, which I call the Jäger Commando. Rugni in Norway. It won't stay on. I'll sew it on later. If I send this, it's going on. <laughs> Feels just as hard as I remember. <laughs> I probably tried to do this dyno at least a hundred times and just could not get it. So I came to the conclusion, it was just impossible. I couldn't get the dyno. Nobody can get this dyno. Even if I give Magnus a hundred tries, he's still not going to get this dyno. But I sent it to him anyway, just to see what he could do. This one uh, looks the hardest though, probably out of all the bullish so far. But in the name of Tomoa, I'm gonna try to do this. Yeah, that one was the hardest so far. I just wanna point out, Saying Tomoa before or during a dyno is age. So, you know, that one, uh, we'll put an asterisk next to that flash. But asterisk or not, Magnus only had one more dyno left to send to save my life and complete the challenge. But this last dyno wasn't gonna be all sunshine and roses because you see, all the previous dynos had played to Magnus's strengths and this one plays to his weaknesses. So my final dyno for you, my magnum opus, steeplechase. My last resort, if you sent everything else, can you send steeplechase? First try. I salute you, Magnus. I really was like, man, that was like, the music stopped and everything. I was like, I gotta get it. <laughs> this giant vertical beefy dino is called steeplechase and it was the only dino out of all of these that i genuinely thought magnus might not be able to get this uh i gotta say it looks really far when it's straight up dinoing like that it's not my favorite uh, but I'm, I'm gonna give it everything i got to save you man I think I got it though. How, how many uh, how many tries do I get on these problems? One, two, three, four. You can really tell that uh, Magnus has been doing YouTube a lot longer than me. He's like, what is the challenge? How many tries do I have? What is happening? Do you know what you're doing? I already told you, Magnus, you do the dinos or I kill myself or I die, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the thing was. Something bad happens if you don't do the dinos. That's the challenge. I know what I'm doing. I think I got it though. Let me try one more time. Let me grab some. Piece of quick lunch. I can try to eat it like you eat it. See? That's why you don't eat it like that. He really can't just let that go. <laughs> he is not happy with the way I ate that. I'm sorry, Magnus. I'm sorry, Norway. I'll eat it correctly next time. 
Please just do the dino. I feel the power of the quick lunch. Quick lunch just made it, made it worse. <laughs> Don't eat chocolate before climbing, I guess. So Magnus was actually struggling with this dino a little bit, more than I had expected, which, good for my ego, bad for my life. And at this point, the static climbers were here. They were in the bunker, pounding on the door, ready to take my life. The only chance I had for survival was for Magnus to send this dino, and he would have to pull out every trick in the book if he had any chance of sending it. It's all that left leg. Push. What? Fly, baby, fly. All right, so I'm ho I hope that I saved your life. I hope that I saved the church of dino dinoology, <laughs> whatever it is. You did, Magnus, more than you'll ever know. So the church survived, the static climbers were defeated, and our first great battle at the Church of Dinoology headquarters. Where do we go from here, you might ask? Well. It's time to rebuild. And during this rebuild, it's important to acknowledge those who did something to help us win this war. So in the name of the Church of Dinoology, I name Magnus Mippo, the Jaeger Commando. With Tomoa as the Pope and Magnus as the Jaeger Commando, the Church of Dinoology grows stronger with every passing day. So go to Reddit, join the Church of Dinoology, become a part of the community. I also just want to say big thanks to Magnus for going out of his way, you know, to make this video with me. I really do appreciate it. And also big thanks to Ryan uh, for helping me film this video. Couldn't have done it without you. I'll link both their channels in the description in case you haven't seen Magnus's channel before. And I'll see you guys next time. To Tomoe Narasaki, you're my big man. <laughs> <laughs> Tomoe. You're my big man. Tomoa, you're my big man. <laughs> That's so stupid, I love it.